The romance of the desert has the power to seduce. Death on the Nile as a veneer of sophistication, sexiness, glamour, and romance. And in the most extraordinary place. It's a sumptuous, luxurious romp, a film about death and beauty. You had something to hide. The crime is murder. Should have hidden it, shouldn't you? The murderer is one of you. There's a lot of twists and turns, and you think you know, but you don't really. Just the suspense of it all, the trickery of it all. It's, too late it's about how love to makes us feel it. and how it makes us act and what it makes us do. I want you to find who did this. I think people love a great puzzle. How many have to die before you do something? Sorting out of clue and character. Even when you think you've figured something out, a new truth comes to light. What people will do for love. <laughs> people trapped on a boat, claustrophobia and murder. It's a dynamite combination. I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe with any of them. I have investigated many crimes. But this has altered the shape of my soul. I am Detective Hercule Poirot, and I will deliver your killer. I want to introduce you to our stunning set, the Karnak Boat. It's the backdrop to our fantastic story of mystery, intrigue, and suspense. When it came to building the Karnak, we knew we'd created such a wonderful piece of design. Ken had specific requirements about how the boat should look. He wanted it to feel rather threatening and sleek and shark-like. The cherry on top is when you go inside of the boat, they took it to the next level. And I walked in and I was just completely blown away. Every door that you open, the rooms are set to the tiniest detail. The furniture and the jewelry, everything was there. I'm so not used to this kind of lavish detail. It is stunning. And the thrill with Ken is that he shoots every nook and cranny of whatever you build. He wanted this sense that they were trapped, they were corralled inside this glass box. I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe with any of them. The Karnak is a magnificent floating palace, but it is deadly. The crime is murder. The murderer is one of you. Death on the Nile is riven through with passion. There is a veneer of sophistication, sexiness, glamour and romance. For the costumes of Death on the Nile, Ken wanted to do a movie that was appealing in the sense that it didn't look like a reproduction of the period, taking a much more contemporary approach. It was a really, really exciting process working on the look and feel of the character. Paco's unafraid of being very bold. Lynette, we wanted her to look like a cinema star of the period. How do I look? Like a million dollars. New passenger coming aboard. The costumes look really amazing. Working with Paco, that was a collaborative experience. He would take inspiration from different fabrics and different cloths, and voila, it's really dope. With my character, she needs to be voluptuously delicious all the time, and that should be reflected in her costumes. Hello, Egypt. We'd have this figure walk up the stairs in a dark, almost blood-red dress with those incredible gold leaves. She was a mix between rage and passion. A beguiling lady, no? Ooh, I like this. Sumptuous, luxurious romp, glamour, beautiful costumes, and also intrigue, mystery, and murder. We have a piano tuned, a chef, and enough champagne to fill the Nile. Death on the Nile cocktail hour, shall we, Dawn? Well, it's never a bad time for a cocktail. <laughs> 
Lynette Ridgeway. That's Gal. Mysterious, dark. She could drink a French 75. What's in that? Gin, champagne and lemon juice. It's a lovely thing. And give you a bit of a kick at the pass at the same time, which Gal could do. Book, Jewel of the Nile. Ah! which is sort of classy. Is he classy book? Yes, he is. Yes, it's just Tom who isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful as ever. Rosalie Otterbourne, very sweet, and, and a Manhattan just sounds right. Sounds right for the period. Quite business-like, and she's certainly that. A woman can run her affairs as well as a man or better. Uh, I love that girl. Oh, Campari, something with a bit of bitterness. And there's a cocktail called The Last Word, which is a good cocktail for her because it's something a bit hip, hipster. It's a little bit Parisian as well, that's Something isn't a it? bit alcoholic. <laughs> Be careful. It's too late. Bowers's. Oh, I think it would be something quite fruity and it would be zingy. So it might be a sangria or something oh. like that. Like a sort of overgrown schoolgirl. <laughs> Three cheers and a tiger from me. Yeah. <laughs> Marie, she's a communist. Very dry vodka martinis. And you might call it the tight lip. <laughs> it's bad enough we have to stay in this bourgeois nightmare of a hotel. Hercule Poirot. Oh, it'd have to be so precise for Hercule Poirot. Very exact. It is a problem, I admit. A hot toddy. A hot toddy! A little bit of whiskey, a little bit of honey, and he could measure it exactly. There are seven. I cannot have the uneven number. God, this is going to be a pricey round. Cheers! Cheers, my dears. <laughs> must meet Hercule Poirot. My congratulations, madame. Merci. He's only the greatest detective alive. I suspect you invited me for reasons other than the fun. You had something to hide. We have the Karnak all to ourselves, a chef and enough champagne to fill the Nile. Should have hidden it, shouldn't you? When you have money, no one is ever really your friend. It's too late to change events. It's time to face the consequence. Someone is dead. The crime is murder. Never again is what the murderer is one of you. Were you aware of any grudges? Madame is used to getting what she wants. Never again. I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe with any of them. There are so many conflicting hates and jealousies. Oh, I like this. Did you see or hear anything? I did not trust her. I still don't. What did you do last night? You accused me of murder. He accuses everyone of murder. It is a problem, I admit. The murder was methodically planned. Matt. Can I not trust you? What do you want me to say? Bang. Someone else is dead. You lie in my face! Lock the doors! The murderer is here. And will stay here.